Qualcomm, on the other hand, they're 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 it's a, it's, a, it's such a merging going on uh, thing here with computing where you have the traditional proce processor manufacturers like Intel shrinking stuff down, trying to get into. I mean, they kind of gave up a lot of their mobile business, but they're trying to get into more mobile, more portable devices. And then you have companies like Qualcomm who are dominating in the smartphone space, and they're trying to get into laptops and Surface products and and tablets. And it, it's the the processor wars are upon us. We're talking about everybody's competing mm -hmm. for your for your. They want to be your horsepower, whether it's Qualcomm, Apple, Intel, AMD. I mean, you name yeah. it. So Qualcomm's got this 8CX Gen 2 5G processor for ARM-based laptops, which is an upgrade on uh, something they announced, I guess, two years ago. They got started on this. They've got a new version of it here. And they've also shared some benchmarks about how they think it can go head-to-head -head with 10th generation Core i5 products. And, uh, I mean, they're not, they're not going to put it up against the latest stuff just yet. Obviously, it's all too fresh. But they're showing performance improvements, and you can see lower power consumption as well, 7 watts. Uh, again, leaning on that background in mobile devices where you got less, you've got less resources at your disposal from a battery life perspective. you got to get that stuff down. So it is curious to see uh, Qualcomm's approach to scaling their stuff up and, and the other brands' approach to scaling their stuff down. The new 8CX Gen 2 is apparently... Going to give you a full a full day a full day's worth of work on a single charge. They claim twenty five hours of continuous use or uh, multiple days of battery life, depending on what you're using it for. This in a laptop is very exciting if it comes to fruition. Will mm -hmm. we would love to see that take place? It's uh, the new model is also going to have Wi Fi six, Bluetooth five one, a couple of other performance improvements, to, uh, support for dual four K external monitors at sixty fps. It's going to have five G in it as well. Uh, of course, that's Qualcomm's background, backstory, so full connectivity. And, and you start to think about this millimeter wave stuff, you start to, start to think about an always-on, always-connected device in the form of a laptop with a fast connection not tied to your Wi-Fi. Things get exciting, Will. Mm -hmm. I can tell. Try to uh, try to keep it together. I can tell you're very excited here. Mm. That's right.